Well, here we are looking at green bean today. It's been a month or two here. I think it's actually been almost, it's been at least two months, we're gonna say that. Uh, I just put the battery in it. We gotta start green bean up. We're gonna move her. Let's see where we're left out. 235, 955. Ooh, that was a weird noise. Starter. Well, she's running. Got no gas in it. But, uh, hey, it fired right up though. Yeah, I think it's been about two months. And I put it in the shed here because we had a leak in the rough end. Now it's time for it to come back to life. That's right, I need a headlight for it, so I got your headlights for it. We're gonna look into that leak a little bit. I gotta clean it up. But green bean is coming out of hibernation. Anyway, she ran good, started right up. Just thought I'd bring you along real quick. Well, uh, that ain't right. I was getting on the highway in Green Bean here and uh, got a really bad miss. It wouldn't accelerate, so I made it to the gas station here and it opened the hood and a bunch of smoke coming out. This coil pack cracked on cylinders two and five. Um, believe it or not, I have another coil pack with me. I, don't ask me why I had that. I have no idea, but I do, and I know it works. So we're gonna swap the coil pack out here in the parking lot. That's insane. A uh, new pack is in, we're running again, so. Uh, I don't know about that. That that was weird. today's episode of how many bolts are we gonna break let's do this water pump uh, green bean needs a water pump green beans needed a water pump for a little while I've been ignoring the noise today we're gonna do the water pump otherwise I will not drive this to work tomorrow hear that noise that would be the water pump pulley. If I can find the... That guy down there. Yeah, I've been ignoring that for a little while here. Um, so, we're gonna do this today, break all the bolts off, and then I won't be able to drive this tomorrow. This is my plan. Good plan, I would say. So, we'll see how this goes. What we want to do get this tire off for easy access and then uh break all these bolts off and then uh call it a day but no for real though uh or get this tire off get up under there hopefully this heat from just driving the engine will play some uh you know kindness into our hands or some luck and uh this will go smoothly these pumps are easier to get at and do than they are in the fourth chance because they're in the front here Got that in our favor. 
then I think uh, I'll look down my sword. I should have a cover to go back over here because uh, we're missing the plastic cover with the crank pulley and stuff. I should have one in theory. Uh, let me go get a mat to lay on, a drain pan for the coolant, and a tire iron. gonna do is we're gonna try bust all the bolts loose on the pulley before we uh, take the serpentine belt off. We're gonna try that anyway. These are 13 so and that's not gonna do us any favors so screwdriver then. <laughs> okay, so what we will do is put this screwdriver and there's a hole in the pulley. We're going to wedge the screwdriver in there so when we try to twist the nut off it will wedge the pulley in place. Should work here if I do it right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bash my knuckle here. It's about to happen. Try a different one. Oh, come on. There it goes. Got one. Got two. Now our third guy is where I cannot reach him. So, we must adjust. If I can. hit that tensioner and uh, loosen up the, the belt. Uh, what's the best way to do that? Probably just grab a uh, like a 15 mil wrench whatever size it is. Okay, we'll try 15 first. I don't know that this is long enough for, enough for me to be able to tension this belt, but it is a 15. I think that's tightening, so... Nope. Yeah. Okay, there we go. We're loosening. So I just gotta get it off that... There we go. One more time. And the belt is off. So the belt looks good, so we're not gonna worry about that. Now we will finish getting that pulley off quick. 
Well, it should spin out by hand, or at least in my case, they are. And I'm looking at this water pump, and he's got a whole bunch of RTV all around him, so he's going to make for a fun time um, scraping off. So it's been done at least once, you know. This is probably the van's, uh, probably it's third water pump. So ours will be number three or number four. But I'm, I'm not quite sure which. If I had to guess, these are usually go about 100,000 miles and that's all they write. I think that's the service period on them too, if I recall. Don't quote me on that. Oh, come on, last bolt. You can do it. Okay, we've got our pulley. We'll set our bolts in there so we lose them. play it wasn't really weeping yet still believe it or not which is why I was holding out on it so uh, it looks like it's still got all the original bolts in it so that's a sign I don't know if that's a good or a bad sign but I'll just take it as it is How do the idlers feel in tension? Idler's a little louder than I want it to be. How's that tensioner sound? I can get the belt out of the way. Tensioner sounds perfect. Idler is a little growly. Not bad though. It doesn't wobble any. Uh, yeah, let me grab a ten mil, which I should have had. I, I had it out here. Oh, but I might have lost it already. Engine's warm. These bolts are hot, so I should have torched these. That one's out. That one's out. Nope, that one I want to heat up. I need to get a mini extension. Three. They're loose. Oh, we're dripping. Four are loose. Let's look at this one one more time. All five are loose. Woo! Easy does it. I think we got them all, guys. Nice. Don't usually get that lucky. In fact, I don't think I've ever gotten that lucky on any of the water pumps I've done on these caravans. So, let's go. This is going to be a quick job. I, I, I'm saying that right now. I'm going to be 
these. So maybe I'll even have enough time to do the sway bar bushings. Probably not, but you know, I can hope. But at least if you like break a bolt on the third gens or earlier, you can lower the motor down enough. You can usually get in here and fix them. Um, on the fourth gen, they're all the way up here and you're like screwed no matter what. And you have to do the timing cover, and, which most of the time, if you're on your second or third water pump, your front main's leaking anyway. But this engine's had some work done. And I think it's had a timing cover reseal anyway. And it, this motor doesn't really leak oil all that much. In fact, I don't think it really leaks any oil. It leaks a lot of transmission fluid, and I think it has a power steering fluid leak. But no oil, believe it or not. And it's got a, on the back of the heads, on the back head, there's a warranty heat up stamp on there. Like if it uh, overheats, it melts the stamp. So honestly, it might be a remand engine. I don't know. But the heads look like they're in, like, not off of this block originally, so I think it's had heads done on it. Like both of them. But I, I don't know. I've got nothing on record for this van. I have no history of the van. Carfax only goes to like 2009 and 100,000 miles. And it was sold at auction in 2009. And then I bought it again at auction in 2022. So. Oh, whose dumb idea was it to do the top bolts first and leave the bottom ones for last where you you know you're gonna get drift off couldn't be me no that's definitely got anti-seize on it that's why this is good they anti-seize the bolts in fact yeah all three of them all three that i've taken up they've all got anti-seize on them so they've uh, done us a solid here guys let's go I think I've said this previously, but uh, whoever owned this van before did take pretty good care of it. Uh, there were some, you know, weird things I found, but overall they uh, they did a good job keeping it, you know, you know, from dying. Put it that way. So, thank you. I'm gonna have to scrape that. Okay, so I got a new water pump with the new gasket in there, and I smeared some ultra gray RTV on there, and I left that set up. So, and I got the surface cleaned as best I can with a razor blade, and then I cleaned it off with some brake clean. It's a little pitted, but that's what the RTV is for. So, we're gonna slap this thing in there. I can't really film it, but see that all nice, shiny ish surface right up there. Slide that in there, bolt it on, and yeah, it's shiny up there. So there we go. Got her all up in there, got everything snugged up. So what I did is I started with this bolt right here. And I, well, first what I did is I got them obviously all hand started. The water pump would stay. And then I snugged this one up. And then I snugged that one. And then I went that one. And that one and that one in a star pattern. That ensures you're evenly tightening it down to the surface. And then once I did that, I went back to my first one, snugged it to the proper torque, then did the same pattern. And then after I hit that last one, I kind of just went all the way around, make sure that they were tight without additionally tightening it, making it tighter. So there we go. I can spin the pulley free. We, you can see an even bead of the RTV that went around it, which means you've seated it perfectly and properly. And uh, with that rubber O-ring in there, you shouldn't have to wait for this. I would wait maybe 20, 30 minutes is all you really should have to wait. Water, uh, water's not gonna get through there. So I'm doing it in the snow like this, actually having a warmer temperature is gonna allow that to harden up quicker. But yeah, it spins free. Doesn't wobble, doesn't do any of that. So what we need to do now is get this pulley on and then I gotta get the belt back on. And then I'm gonna go dig around and I'm gonna find, I have a cover for this to put over the plastic cover so yeah I'll, i'm gonna get this pulley back on and i'll show you the here 
can see it's got holes here and I just use this driver and stick it through. So I'll put that back on quick and I'll go find a cover and uh, I'll bring you guys back when it's all done. Okay, so to do this water pump, it's all the tools I use. Quarter inch with 13 and then a 10 with a baby extension and then this driver and then a 15 mil wrench. You could do with a longer 15 mil wrench for the tension, but in a tire iron, a rag, and some brake clean. Obviously a little bit of any C's RTV. And we've got it up here, belts on. I uh, left it off the water pump pulley. And that's the one I slid it over when I tensioned the belt. Took me a couple tries there with that wrench. Like I said, if you had a longer one, it'd be way easier, but that's what I had. And I wasn't going looking for another one, so it wasn't too bad. So I'm gonna go find that cover now, hopefully, and put that on. Well, I didn't have that cover. It's in store somewhere. I had one for the 05, but it doesn't fit this. Um, almost got all the coolant back in it. Uh, it looks like I can even get a little more and it's bubbled some air out, but let's fire this thing up. See how she sounds. I don't want to sit in it because I'm wearing a dirty thing or a dirty uh, cover all so me. Can you, can you go away? Thank you. Turn the heat up. Sure she's on max. Oh yeah. Look at that. No noise. Nice job, nice job. That turned out great. And the belts are still on the pulleys and stuff, so that's good. So. Or the belt is still on the pulleys. Um, we're not like dumping water out, so. That's good. I'm gonna dump the rest of this in, monitor it, let the thermostat open up, top it off, whatever I need, and then I'm gonna take it for a test drive here, make sure everything's all good. You probably won't hear from me because it I think we're good there. So Well, we're back on Green Bean 97 once again today. Uh, we did the water pump what like two days ago. Well we didn't have any noise when I originally change the pump at least that I could recognize but now it appears we got another pulley noise so I went and fired the parts cannon and I bought the idler and the tensioner uh, when I had the belt off I I spun those two and then you could feel the growliness to them like I'm gonna have to replace those aren't I and uh yeah I think we are they were so the idler and the tensioner are actually the same pulley so you can you can buy either or and it's the same pulley and they were i think 1999 at o'reilly's and they're just two 15 mil bolts so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get at the tensioner there and we're gonna release the belt and then we'll pop those two pulleys off swap them quick and put the belt back on and call it a day so it should be a quick and easy job but yeah uh while we're here i think the engine's cooled off enough hopefully Check the coolant. I haven't checked the coolant level since I did the water pump and ran it. And nope, we're right up to the top, as we should be. So, and how's the reservoir look? Reservoir sitting at min, which is fine. It's cold, so very good, very good. In fact, I think it, it was under pressure. I felt it. Or I heard it release whatever was in here it, when I popped that cap. So that's good. Uh, yeah. So I got. I had the 15 mil. You saw it in my hand, didn't you? Yeah, it's right there. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need two hands, but I'm gonna try to do this from up here. It's harder to release this tensioner from up top here, but we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot. I might even go try find a, a ratchet wrench. That's a, a low profile one and get in there too. But that's what I'm going to do, release that to the two pulleys, and I'll bring you back when I'm done. All right, I got the idler here. This is the one making the noise. I can feel it. Can't wiggle it. You might not be able to hear it. Yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to do the thing for you. Anyway, I can feel this one. It's crunchy, and it's kind of growly. It's not as, I've, I've, I've seen worse, it spins free, but this one's definitely on the, on the out, so. Uh, this one, 
I'm thinking that's a reman. I'm thinking that's been done at least once. I'm trying to remember what the uh, OEM bearing was. I think it says made in Canada on it. Oh, look, I can spin that seal. Nice, that's funny. Yeah, I think they say made in Canada. Uh, so this one doesn't say that. I don't believe. So and you can see it's kind of got oil on it like it was seeping. Yeah, you can you can see the wetness around it. So we're gonna replace that one. And we still gotta do the country. I did get the tensioner or belt on tension with that uh oh yeah, see that one. It doesn't wobble, but you can hear it. Maybe. Maybe not. Well, I'm gonna take it off. We're gonna feel it. Um, if it's good, I'm gonna save it because uh, that's come in handy before. Um, actually, this is one of my this is my dad's truck right here. Uh, he had to do got a really bad whining noise. They thought it was a power steering pump, but uh, fluid was good, and it didn't change whine when they turned it. So I think he did the. If it's unlocked, I'll pop the hood. It is. Oh. These latches on these F-150s are little plastic latch down here in the bottom, and it's the silliest thing ever. Like that. Tell me that's not going to break when it's cold. But uh, it was a tensioner pulley that he did right there. He did that tensioner pulley. That was the really bad one. Uh, like, it was rough spinning it. And then once we had the belt off, you know, you start spinning the other pulleys. That one was making a, like a high-pitched whine. And then this one, this has got, so it's got three idlers and two tension, or two, three idlers and one tensioner. There's an upper idler pulley and a bottom one. And the two top idler pulleys are non-ribbed and the bottom one's ribbed. The non-ribbed one on the right side here, driver's side, was fine. The bottom one was making noise, so... Uh, he bought that tensioner pulley, bought this one, and then this little guy right here, this is the idler off of my 93 caravan, which is actually, that's the same idler that we're putting in over there, <laughs> the same pulley. But we took that off when we were diagnosing a noise, and it ended up being the water pump, but I replaced it anyway, I was in there, and I'm like, I might as well just put all new pulleys, like, similar to what I'm doing now. But that was a good pulley, so we threw that one on there, and that, uh, fits an, uh, F-150 543 valve engine here. And uh, this is a, the three valve with the bad plugs. Here, will we'll it, we'll it light up? 333,539 miles on this unit. Doesn't tick, doesn't nothing. This engine runs. Yeah, they were all drunk. This one's actually the one making the noise. Like, I mean, that one's crunchy, but listen to this one here if I can. That high pitched whine. If I can get it spinning fast enough. You can hear it. I think you can hear that one. Junk. They're junk. Um you know, keep them as a on the shelf because now I'm out of spare pulleys is like uh I need something like now. So I'll never use those again, but you never know. When I get a better set, I'll throw these out, you know, kind of cycle them. They're leaving dirt marks everywhere. So there we go. Um, this one is a different pulley, technically. NTN, whatever, whatever. Made in Canada. So, NTN Canada. So this might be an OEM bearing. Quite possibly. See this difference in the, this? I think all the aftermarket ones do this style. So the, the same, essentially. So why make two different parts? Shiny. These are... It says Auto Technica was the sale brand, but they are NSK bearings. And I think they say... Yeah, China. So, yay. We'll see how long those last. Hopefully, they last the life of that Chinese water pump. So, at least you do them all at the same time again. Uh, here's the tensioner bolt for reference. It is different than the idler bolt. Oh. 
Hmm. Interesting. That's what I get for showing you stuff. So I'm going to slap those two on real quick and uh, we'll just fire her up. All right, we're on. Let's see how she sounds. Should be quiet. If it's not, I give up. We've got... Bye. Go away. 238,806 miles. Ah, there we go. Oh, now it's nice and quiet. Granted, look at that belt right on that pulley. Kinda this way, aren't we? They're both like that. I mean... I mean, that's, that's a little much. Those ones are off a little bit, but, you know, at least there was like a sixteenth of... Ah, uh, this one was riding right off, too. So this aftermarket one was riding like that. Not quite as bad. Oh, I don't know about that. Do I have to get like a different bolt or, you know? Well, because this one's got that spacer in it, but that spacer shouldn't affect how the pulley sits on the boss. It's quiet. I'll tell you that much. I don't know about that. I might have got got. It is nice and quiet, though. Well, I mean, we can rev it. If it blows the belt, it blows the belt, I guess, right? think on that okay so what I've decided is we're gonna return this auto technica pulley and we're gonna go down to the local O'Reilly's and get the Murray one that's in stock the reason I got this one was the O'Reilly near where I work stocked it instead of the Murray one and I think I've gotten the Murray ones before and not had trouble so we're gonna kind of cross our fingers that the Murray one is right and what that would mean is since it's the same pulley for Murray so I'd get the same island same ten tension with that brand that they're shifted this way so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get both of them I'm gonna return both of these get both of those and uh, we'll give that a shot so I gotta take that one off real quick but I'm gonna go let another van warm up or wouldn't you know it it's dark out uh, we got new pulleys again so after four O'Reilly stores and six pulleys, counting the originals, uh, I think we got some that work. Uh, this one's a Murray. This is this will be the idler right here because of the way that it is. And then we've got a Gates one right here. And this one will be the tensioner because of the way that it is. So the like, nice thing about these ones is they all say made in Canada. And I've not had issues with either of these brands before. Other brand I've never seen before, and it didn't work out. So even the O'Reilly guy was uh, wondering why the other store was stocking that brand. But, you know, so here we are. I'm going to slap those in, tighten it up, and we should have belt alignment that's somewhat decent. I will uh, let you know. Take four, I think. Uh, got everything tightened up, got everything on, so... Should tend not to be an issue anymore.
nice and quiet. Look at that. That's a little better. That one rides about the same. It's on the pulley, so. So I guess that other brand one would have worked for the tensioner, but not the idler. Because it lines up about the same, and that's really how it lined up on mine as well. I mean, that one, that's the one I was worried about was that idler, and that's perfect. So we're gonna we're gonna roll with that. Nice. What a what a fiasco that was. I guess we'll do the uh, sway bar bushings another day once again. And it probably won't be anytime soon. Maybe tomorrow, but if it's not tomorrow, it ain't happening. Not uh, not for a couple weeks. All right. Well, green beans back up on the ramps there. I think we're leaking. Yeah, look at that. We melted another coil pack. Well, time to drive green bean off the trailer. It's hot in here. Let me pull the windows down. Battery's still good. Oh, oh that's that's all she wrote. Ugh. Oh, it's good. 